Hi guys, welcome back to County Line Farming. Today we are getting the tractors ready for Tractor Day 2023. We've got a couple more final touches tonight. Uh, tractor Day is tomorrow, and uh, I will be taking the John Deere 4440. And uh, kid that helps us, Bryson, he will be taking uh, the new to us, John Deere 4050. So both units are clean. Uh, just got to clean the windows in the morning. Bryson's going to do that when he gets here. And uh, we got two flags on. I'm going to put a second one on the tractor I'm taking. And uh, finish that up. I need to wax the hood on this one. It's a little paint faded or a little, yeah, paint's a little faded. So we're going to touch that up. Never been uh, waxed since it's uh, been repainted about 5,000 hours ago. So we're going to do that, uh, shine her up a little bit and uh, get this done tonight. And then we can uh, roll out first thing in the morning. Got this rig uh, nice and clean. This one we didn't have to clean since we just bought it. And uh, this is gonna be the new raking tractor for the year. So what do you say? Let's get right into it. So this one was tricky, kind of a last minute deal. Put a piece here, run it out. This is PVC pipe painted black. This was a last minute deal. That way we got two on this unit. This is uh, same deal here. This is clean. These are hose clamps. You can't even see them. Put them on there and painted them black so you can't see it. So that's super clean there. Put the beacon on. I didn't wire it up, it's just charged up. We can wire it up later, but uh, it'll keep it cleaner that way. So the flag on Bryson's tractor is a little bit bigger. So what we ended up doing, just drill a hole through this piece of metal for the mirror, put a bolt through her. Uh, instead of zip tying everything like we did last year, super flimsy. So this way, It'll be uh, nice and strong. And then we got the beacon on top of the mirror on that side. That way we can roll in with the beacons, you know. Bryson's gonna probably put some flags on the front of his tractor in the morning. It's about uh, 9.30, 10 o'clock, so we just gotta get this hood waxed up. Last three nights I've been working till like midnight, so uh, last night I was getting these things ready. The night before we were just trying to get caught up on stuff, but anyways, we'll be ready to roll. So I've never waxed the hood before. I waxed the lawnmower hood uh, this spring just to kind of see how it worked, but it's not the best, but uh, it'll work. It's pretty good for a 5,000 hour paint job since it's been painted. So I'll take it for my first time and uh, doesn't look bad. So we basically got everything wrapped up. We just have to put uh, two more flags on the front of the 4050 and then uh, Bryson will wash the windows and we'll be ready to go. So I got these flags put on the front of both of the tractors and uh, Bryson's got the windows cleaned up. It's about 5.50. I just got to run out second batch out here and uh, we'll be ready to go. So we got all the lights on and uh, we're heading out. If you remember last year we took uh, two 4430s and the 4240 and uh, we had lights out on the one 4430. So everything's working good, and uh, it is approximately, it's exactly 6.10. So it uh, went real smooth, and I uh, got everything done before we needed to go. Got done feeding, got changed, and uh, probably take about 35 minutes to get to school. I'm hoping to be there by 6.45, so that way we can get parked and uh, get ready. Let her rip. So we're making pretty good time. It is uh, 6.23 and we're about four or five minutes out right now. So we'll be there in uh, plenty of time. Everything's still going good. Just taking her uh, about uh, 17, 18 mile an hour. Nothing too crazy. That way we uh, can stay close together so uh, no cars get in between us. So we're about 25 minutes before we like have to have to be here. So there ain't gonna be anybody here for probably another five or 10 minutes, but uh, high school is up here on the left, elementary is on the right, middle school is uh, back here on the back left. And uh, we will be doing a tractor parade and uh, ag in the classroom this afternoon at the elementary. So we will have a parade just like we did last year. Nobody's passed. 
passing, we're good to turn. <clears throat> Didn't have much of a line. Bryson is uh, right there. Keep up pretty good. We're here and ready to roll. So everybody made it to school safely in a timely manner also. It's a little before seven, everybody's here. Got some four wheelers and dirt bikes along with, uh, we got three John Deere tractors, two Case, and uh, older Steiger tractor also. So uh, let's get to it. It's time to go to the bird for the elementary kids. Let's get to it. So everybody is out of school and uh, we're all getting ready to go. We're gonna go over to the elementary and uh, do a little parade for everybody. We rolling, boys. So we are getting ready to go around for the tractor parade for the first time. We plan on going around twice and uh, go around and let the kids see you tractors that we brought in and then when we get done our ag in the classroom kids uh, we're having ag in the classroom right after this right now it is 203 currently and uh, once we get done with that then we will uh, show our other kids that
good. Everybody uh, came out and watched us go around. So, anyways, had a pretty decent turnout. Had quite a few uh, quads and different four wheelers also show up. And uh, I want to also thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. Hit the thousand subscribers yesterday, and uh, the next day I got to bring tractors to school. So, uh, pretty sweet to see that. So, I want to thank you all for uh, supporting me. Uh, through my YouTube channel and also if you guys want to see day-to-day -day updates uh, check out my Instagram at County Line Farming uh, I keep you guys updated on day-to-day -day stuff and try to post a couple times a day and uh, let you guys know what we're doing I want to thank everybody for watching today's Drive Your Tractor to School video I hope you guys all enjoyed it as much as I do, and I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Uh, we're going to start planting here in about a week and a half. It's really starting to dry up. We're finishing up putting some tile in, and we'll be ready to go.